It's often said that Baltimore is a city of neighborhoods, each with its own distinct character and charm, as well as challenges. Since the city's infancy, back in the 18th century, one institution has been a constant presence throughout the city, impacting the lives of Baltimoreans in ways that not always are apparent. Catholic parishes popped up in nearly every part of the city as its population grew and its residents, many of whom immigrated from Catholic Europe, looked to the church for spiritual care and so much more. Working alongside government, public, and private entities, the Catholic Church is working every day to address the needs of the city and its residents. And no work is more important or has the potential to impact the individual, family, or the community than that of a Catholic education. There is instilling in these young people, without exception, moral standards and very important values. It is a critical piece of the Catholic schools. Those values make these young people good citizens, good parents, good employees, and so I find that that's very unique and very, very important to our future society. When I've been engaged, as I am now, in Catholic schools, I see the high-quality curriculum, and I look at the results. I'm very strong in terms of accountability, and I'm very pleased with what I see in terms of the accountability for excellence within the Catholic schools. Something only made possible for those most in need, thanks to the church's 25-year-old scholarship program, Partners in Excellence. Teachers have been a huge part of my success in life, and what better way to repay them for what they had done for me than to become a teacher myself. I'm sure that I would not be in the place I am today without my Catholic school education, and I am forever grateful for the people that helped me both at school and beyond. It is my hope that I am one day able to contribute to some other students' education, and I will continue to share the message about the potential impact of Catholic school education can have on someone's life. Education is only one area of need that the church is working to meet here in Baltimore. Like all cities, Baltimore also needs the help of faith and other partners to keep communities safe. The church does this in a number of ways as Catholic parishes offer comfort and hope to those who mourn the loss of loved ones felled by violence and serve as houses of prayer for peace and justice to counter hatred and inequity. Parishes also serve as hubs in their communities, providing assistance with food, hosting drug and alcohol addiction support centers, and partnering with Catholic charities to meet the needs of the city's most vulnerable, including through programs like Operation Safe Streets, which operates out of several Catholic parishes in Baltimore. The main reason why the program really works is because of the community that buys into it. And they buy into it because of the individuals that we hire. You know, uh, once upon a time, we was a part of the problem. So, and before we got the job, we had already made the change. You know, so we were stopping a lot of things that was going on before we had it. My little brother was killed six days after I came home from prison. Each one I saved, that's him. You know, and I just go at them, and I just, uh, I put my whole heart into it. You know, they my little brothers. That's how I look at it. Access to quality, affordable health care is another challenge for many living in the city, and the Catholic Church plays a critical role in filling this need, operating hospitals and community-based health clinics, as well as providing frontline services in parishes and other church-run institutions. As anchor institutions, we understand the importance of the social determinants of health, and they are when you think about nutrition when you think about education, when you think about housing, when you think about job training, all of these factors impact the health and wellness of our communities. So as healthcare providers, the more we can identify partners who understand and invest in the social determinants of health, the more we can raise the overall health and wellness of our communities. And the Archdiocese of Baltimore has been a long-standing partner in the community doing that very hard and important work in driving impact in those social determinants of health. Partnering with trusted partners is critical, and I think the pandemic has 
demonstrated what we've understood for a long time, and that is that the Archdiocese of Baltimore is a differentiating partner here in our community. While the pandemic has left its wake and an impact yet to be told, it also shined a bright light on the importance of partnerships, cooperation, and the positive results that can be achieved when those partners work together towards a common goal. Something the Archdiocese has made a priority as an anchor institution in Baltimore since 1789. The Archdiocese is the oldest Catholic diocese in the United States. We kind of grew up with Baltimore. We are part of Baltimore's DNA, and we're here to stay. Sometimes when a city experiences a decline or departures, uh, it's even more important for the church to be present. As the city of Baltimore undergoes this very difficult period, and I pray that it will come out of it, the presence the ministry of the church is more important than ever. Pope John Paul II said that our life, our human life doesn't make sense without love. And when I visit these places, if I can give and receive love, it's, it's, it's really a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Celebrate and give thanks to the many people who work in the city's Catholic parishes, schools, and charitable programs for their tireless work and for the countless ways they improve the lives of our neighbors and our communities. We look forward to coming together in person in 2022 to honor them for all they do and for inspiring faith in Baltimore.